Well, good morning and welcome to the Runways UK conference, the first conference after the publication of my Airports Commission's report. As you listen to me, I am somewhere over Western China on my way back uh, from Shanghai, and I hope, subject to the length of time I spend in the holding pattern above Heathrow, that I should be with you just before dinner in person to prove that I really do exist. Uh, but in the meantime, here's a short introduction to what we said in our report at the end of last week, which I hope will help to situate the debates over the next couple of days about how the whole issue is moved forward. Uh, first of all, though, thank you very much to Runways UK for their contributions to the process. It's been helpful to have an organisation committed to running events to debate the issues and particularly to focus on the practicalities of getting any new infrastructure built. Now I'm sure you will have seen that our Commission's report came out very clearly in favour of the Heathrow Northwest Runway option, which we believe delivers greater economic benefits than the other two. We also, of course, set out a package of environmental measures which ought to be attached to conditions uh, as conditions to the new runways being built, um, which I'm sure will generate quite a bit of debate. In particular, we suggested a ban on night flights, in other words, no landings before 6 a.m. We suggested a new noise levy paid by passengers at congested airports, which generate a lot of noise. We suggested a new noise authority to police that, a new community engagement board on the model of the Aldous Tafel at Schiphol. And we also suggested that the government should commit to no further runways at Heathrow, which we don't believe are possible for operational and environmental reasons anyway. So that's the broad outline of our recommendation. Um, we did talk about the two other bidders, both of which were useful contributors to the debate, certainly both of which have presented financeable propositions. We don't agree that Gatwick is not a financeable proposition, as some have argued. But for the reasons we set out, at Heathrow, the economic benefits are much greater. And within Heathrow, the northwest runway dominates the northeast runway for some reasons of capacity and noise and air quality. But again, those are issues that people may wish to debate. As for what goes on from here, well, of course, uh, the ball, having bounced around on my side of the net for a couple of years, has now firmly landed back in the government's court, and they will have to make a decision. We think an early decision is necessary. By that, I don't mean next week, because the government really does need to think about it. It's a big report, and they need to analyze it. We think we've been careful and thorough. Uh, but uh, that's easy for me to say, the government will wish to look hard at it. And of course, for legal reasons, they will have to consult on whatever they decide to do. But I think it's important for them, as they think about it, to recognise that this has become a touchstone issue around the world. In other words, it has a symbolic significance almost beyond the economic significance, which in all conscience is large enough. Many people around the world love to say, oh, well, London can't make up its mind. The UK is not really ready to make the kind of decisions necessary to make London maintain its position as a major global city. And so I think that not making a decision fairly soon would be a mistake and would be difficult to present. And it would then be more and more difficult as time went by to explain why people should invest in London, why people should come to London as a student, it would be difficult to prove that you could continue to expand your tourism market, etc. So I think the stakes are pretty high in terms of making a decision. There are also, as we set out briefly in our report, a lot of rather practical issues, which I think you're going to discuss tomorrow, about how to take forward infrastructure projects of this kind, just who takes the lead, how do you corral all the different interests and authorities whose powers connect and interact with each other in rather complicated ways in this country. 
Uh, so that requires a lot of thought as well. And I'm sure that thinking along those lines can go on while the government is pondering its view on the major issue of just where we put uh, new capacity. So a lot of work for people in this room to do. I know Runways UK will make its own contribution to ensuring that it provides a forum for these debates to take place. As I say, um, I am currently, as you speak, probably tucking up uh, for a few hours sleep, um, and I hope to be able to be there in person to give you a few more thoughts and maybe answer one or two questions um, before you sit down for dinner. So I look forward to seeing you a little bit later. In the meantime, I hope you have a constructive day. Thank you.